Hello and welcome to our short demonstration on working with customers in Sage 200. The customer account record in Sage 200 holds useful and important information that can be used throughout the entire system. Of course, you can create sales orders. You can create sales quotations and convert them to sales orders and print and post invoices. But you can also send statements and debt chasing letters via email, for example. You may need to analyze your sales by customer type, by the sales region they're in, or perhaps the sales executive. You need to be able to quickly see which customers owe you money and even who your worst payers may be. A customer account shouldn't just be a place where you hold a contact number and an address. It should be a driver for all of your sales procedures, pricing, discounts, and ultimately a place where you can analyze the profit for that customer, potential bad debts, and enable you to make business decisions based on how your customers are performing. We have already logged on to Sage 200 and I'm going to click on my customers list and we can see we have all of my customers visible. I want to search for a customer called Max Retail. Put that in the search bar and we will find that company. Immediately we can see the balance that they owe us the credit limit, who the account manager might be, and other important information. Of course, these column headings can be added too. Uh, I'd like to add a column which shows me if this customer's over the credit limit. That's a very simple process. We'll just tick this option, and we should see, unfortunately, the answer is yes. I will now highlight this customer and we'll have a look at their details. Here we can see the customer address. We can see a Google Map button to locate their address in Google Maps. We can see the credit limit and the main contact information, including the phone number. Sage 200, of course, can hold currencies uh, and accounts in different currencies. This one is in pounds sterling. I'd like to now have a look at the individual people that we speak to at Max Retail. We have a couple of contacts here. We have Mary and we have Alex. Mary is the finance manager for this account, whereas Alex is the person that we would speak to for sales. Sage 200 can email many customer facing documents such as the statement, the invoice, perhaps the sales acknowledgement. In the contact screen we can see that Mary is set up to receive the statement and is the main account contact. But Alex is specifically set to receive the invoice and the quotation. This means that Sage 200 will email the relevant document to the correct person automatically. If we now take a look at the trading tab, we can see here which VAT code the customer will use, the country code, and most importantly, the analysis codes. Sage 200 can hold up to 20 different analysis codes for the sales ledger. Here, we have only set up four. Each code can be set to have a number of drop-down options. I can change this from Susan to Jim. I can also choose the customer type. Again, from a drop-down list. And this particular customer we sell kitchen fittings to. Once all these analysis codes are configured, you can then use these 
in your customer list view, for example. We can also use them in our filters. If I choose to save this account, we will have a look at doing exactly that. There's all my customer accounts, and I'm going to apply a filter for fitting type customers. And instantly we see that's restricted my view just to three customer accounts. I can work with this set of data quite easily. I can see all the important information on screen, but I'd also like to call these people individually and tell them about a new product that we've just started to sell. So I'm going to export the records here into Excel. I right click, we choose export, and we're going to choose all records to Excel. There is my Excel window. There we go. How easy was that? I can now use this information here and I can use this to contact each individual customer. I'd like to see how these customers performed last year. Let's have a, a check on a report and see whether we can see whether they performed well or badly. I'll switch over to my reports section here. We are going to go into the account analysis section and we're going to choose the trading report detailed. So another good use of analysis codes here is I can put them into my criteria for any of the reports in the sales ledger. And we're going to work with the customer type. And that would of course be fittings. There we go. So this year, to date, uh, our previous year, and the previous six months turnover is shown quite easily, quite simply. All reports in Sage 200 can, of course, be printed, emailed, exported, and dropped into Excel. I will now go back uh, and amend Max Retail again, and this time we'll have a look at the attachments area. This can be used to link to important documents for this customer, perhaps returned credit application forms, perhaps performance spreadsheets like we have here, uh, or letters or indeed pictures, anything you want to attach to this customer account. Lastly, we can also see the alerts that have been set up for this customer. An alert is something that will pop up automatically when we create a sales order, perhaps a sales invoice, perhaps a quotation. Any of these functionalities here that you choose to tick, the alert will pop up automatically. I will save my account once more. And this time we will have a look at the transactions and invoices that this customer has got. Highlight the account, I'm going to go into my inquiries option and we're going to choose transaction inquiry. As you can see we can reprint invoices from the screen, we can view invoices and orders and we can even use the correct function here to make changes to transactions that have already been posted. Perhaps the due date is incorrect. Perhaps the nominal analysis is incorrect. We can correct them here. We can also use uh, this function, the screen for credit control. Perhaps we need to log a message against a specific transaction as to why it hasn't been paid and maybe even put this transaction into dispute. If I choose a transaction, 
we can go to this drill down option here for memo and we can add a note against this particular transaction to explain why it's not being paid. We can instantly see that a memo flag has become visible and I'm going to put this account uh, on dispute just so I know that there is a problem with that particular transaction. There are many other functions uh, in the sales ledger which will improve how you communicate and work with your customers. Why not add a pay now button to your invoice and statement layouts? This will link with PayPal and go cardless for automated customer payments. Take credit card payments online and email debt chasing letters. This concludes our quick demonstration of working with customers in Sage 200. You can enhance your sales ledger further by adding a CRM system to Sage 200. Add a business intelligence solution to monitor your performance with your customers. Collect direct debit transactions automatically and many other third-party applications can be added. Accumulus Solutions, we believe that making better use of your customer data and information is just a click away. Thank you for your valuable time.